Hi everybody, in this video I want to teach you how to deploy your Slack app to Heroku and um, in this video basically you'll learn the main steps of adding your app to Heroku and of course this can be uh, generalized to other Node apps or other apps but specifically I'll be uh, showing a Slack app and um, let's get to it. So first, first and foremost, uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, go into our Heroku platform, make sure you have an account and create a new app and I'll call this app um, uh, Heroku Demo uh, May 30. I'll create the app. And uh, basically, the first thing we want to do is actually um, add in our config variables. And we can go that we can do that by going to uh, settings and reveal config variables. And I'm going to add in everything, um, basically, which I had. I guess we can uh, get clone the app. So what I'll do is I'll do um, a git clone and I'll move this uh, screen so you can see it. So basically git clone dash B. So I'm cloning this specific branch and from my uh, OAuth sample git directory. So I'll do that now. And then we can go into OAuth sample. I'm gonna put my video back down here. And now, um, in here we have our actual sample.m file and here are the uh, config variables we need to export. So Slack client ID and you'll find all of these from going to your apps and going into uh, OAuth sample or whatever you called your app and going into basic information. So here's the client ID and I'll have to add this to Heroku so Heroku knows uh, which Slack app to, uh, to connect to. And here's my client secret. We'll add that into Kuroku, and I'm gonna fast forward through all this um, so you don't have to see all this copy paste stuff going on. So I'll add that and I'll add that. So that looks good. So we're already here. Now what we have to do is actually go into and, and try to open our app. Um, so you can see, um, you know, welcome to your new app, but it, we don't haven't done anything yet. Um, so now what we want to do is go into our app manifest and actually update our Slack command URL so that uh, Slack knows where to send the events. So it's gonna send the events to our newly created uh, Heroku app. Um, and same thing with our uh, uh, redirect URLs too. And we'll click save changes. So that looks good. And now, um, basically, if we go into our uh, app here, we have to do the same thing on our end. So we'll go into our manifest file, um, and uh, save that and update this one as well. So that looks good. And what I've already done is I've created this proc file. Um, so this is super specific to Heroku and this tells Heroku how to actually start your app. So basically we do web colon node app.js and you know if our, our, if our main uh, server was called in you know server.js or index.js we would do node index.js um, etc. So we've uh, created this prop file. Now let's actually update and add all of our code to the Heroku uh, rep uh, Git repository. So we'll go into this deploy tab and we've already logged in. And what we have to do is actually add our remote. Um, so you can see our Git remote only has origin. Now if we do, uh, if we add this command, uh, we've added our git remote to Heroku. So now if we do git remote V, you can see our Heroku remotes here. That looks great. Now let's go ahead and add the code. So we can just do uh, git add dot to add everything. And we can do a git status to see what we've updated. We've just updated the manifest.json. Um, one thing that I had a lot of errors with um, and got st stuck with for a few hours was the, the Slack bolt um, package. So make sure you're on the latest package, this 3.11.1, and if you get errors with uh, um, with your port number, if you see in the logs that you get errors with your port, that might be the, the wrong uh, Slack uh, bolt version. So make sure you have the correct one. Cool, so that looks good. Um, we'll do git add dot, and then we'll do git commit, and I'll say, you know, we updated the redirect URL. Uh, update redirect url and then um so we a lot of people do git push heroku master um but because i'm pushing to my remote branch i have to do a different command um so yeah here it is so git push heroku uh part four dash heroku uh, colon main so we'll do that 
to make sure we're starting the build process. So the reason is that uh, Heroku is is only triggered uh, to build and and deploy your app if you're pushed to main or to master. Uh, but I wanted to push to my remote branch, so I use that command to do so. So once all of this is fine and, and good and, and we can see that it's running properly, um, we'll, we'll test out the app by actually going to the route. So if you remember um, in our util, our custom routes are actually Slack install workspace and Slack install org admin. So I'll just do Slack install workspace. Go here. Actually, I'll just, just go straight from here. So welcome to your new app. It'll say, because I don't have this custom route defined, that's why um, you see this error message. But if I go to Slack install workspace, it should be fine. I click add to Slack and we're gonna have to go through the OF process, click allow, and I'll open my Slack instance. And um, now I have here my um, previous command, which I tested a few days ago, but now uh, if I do Horia, it should say Heroku. Uh-oh, uh -oh. that's weird, oh, that's right. So we need to actually update our app really quick um, to use this a sample command. So we'll go to listeners, command, sample command, and you say command works uh, from Heroku. Um, so now if we do get status, so anyways, I'll do get add, get commit, update uh, command, and then uh, get push Heroku main. Um, now if I make this update, we should see um, that once we install the new app, we should see our updated uh, command. So uh, hopefully you learned a lot from this video. Um, but basically the main things you have to worry about is the proc file and then adding your uh, environmental variables within Heroku, whether that's the UI, how I showed you, or there's also uh, ways to do it with the CLI. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple and pretty sweet how easy it is to deploy in Heroku. So again, uh, we'll try that again. Um, uh, so again, a slack slash install workspace. Again, we'll click allow again, open slack. And I'll try this one more time. So yeah, yep, now it says your command works from Heroku. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully you learned a lot and uh, please uh, recommend me any videos to create in the future, whether that's for slack or, or um, Heroku or anything like that. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks a lot.